buyback. So what do you mean by buyback? Buyback is buying back or purchasing on equity shares from the open market. Why do you buy back? To concentrate the power or concentrate the shareholding into the promoter's hands. For increasing the holding of promoters. Okay, fine. What are the conditions for buyback? Section 68 deals with buyback. Section 68 of Companies Act deals with buyback. As per Section 68, we have written seven conditions. It should be authorized by Articles of Association. Okay, it's there in articles. Then resolution. Less than 10 percentage, what's resolution? Otherwise, you have to go for special resolution in general meeting. Then a declaration of solvency has to be filed with ROC. You cannot use all resources for buyback. So a declaration of solvency has to be filed with ROC. Fine. Then time limit is within 12 months from the date of resolution, date of passing resolution. Then only fully paid shares can be bought back. And once equity shares are bought back, it should be cancelled within seven days. And conditions less, and they are also explaining only 25% of equity shares can be maximum bought back. But that we are doing in maximum number of shares. So, sources. So, what are the sources for buyback? For buyback, I'm thinking, I'm applying my mind. For buyback, actually, there will be cash outflow. From where I can raise funds? Sometimes a question that they have asked. Debentures are issued by the company to do buyback. So you are supposed to write as per section 68 of Companies Act. Uh, for, for buying back, there are only two sources. One is internal source that is on profits. On profits means general reserve, p and securities premium account. An external source means fresh issue of shares. That can be equity or preference, but you cannot take a loan, you cannot issue debentures that cannot be used for buyback. Only internal, external sources. Okay, fine. So, if you are using funds out of all profits, free reserves or premium, an amount equal to nominal value of shares bought back, an amount equal to the nominal value of shares bought back should be transferred to CRR. CRR, Capital Redemption Reserve Account. This CRR is a specific reserve. CRR, no, there is only one function. The only one function of CRR is issue of fully paid bond shares. The only one. If there is CRR, CRR no real function only that is issue of fully paid bond shares. Okay, fine. Then maximum number of shares that can be bought back. Maximum number of shares that can be bought back is least of three test conditions. One is share outstanding test which means from the balance sheet given you take the total number of shares. Multiplied by 25%. Multiplied by 25%. Okay, share outstanding test. Resource test. Take the total of share capital. General reserve, PL, free reserves and securities premium. Apply 25% to it divided by my bank price. Then debt equity ratio test. Debt equity ratio test. The concept is after buyback, debt equity ratio should be 2 is to 1. 2 is to 1. So for that, what are the steps we will do? Compute total debt. Then what is the premium equity? Just half. Identify the present equity, share capital, general reserve, p and premium. Find out dilution possible. Present equity should be always more than the minimum equity. So that is the dilution possible. Dilution possible divided by buyback price plus face value is the number of shares that can be bought back. But technically we have to do simultaneous equation. X is equal to amount of buyback. Y is equal to transfer to reserve. So, X is equal to dilution possible minus Y. So, now establish a relationship between X and Y and solve it. 
both cases, both way you do, you will get the same answer. So that is, and take the minimum of share outstanding test, the source test, net equity ratio test. <coughs> that is the number of shares that can be bought back. That is the third one. Uh, sorry, not third one, fourth one. Maximum number of shares that can be bought back. And finally, the accounting entry. Accounting entries. Equity shares buy back to bank. Cancellation equity share capital at face value. Premium on buy back to equity shares buy back account. Then transfer to only when you are using out of then premium on buyback can be sourced out of securities premium account, generous of PSL. And you will be getting a balance sheet also. So balance sheet format we have discussed. Uh, I think that's okay. Balance sheet format, la, all items matter. You need to take only the required items and present balance sheet. That's it.